Hi, this is Bill Brooks. In this video, I wanted to give you an idea of ways of controlling your electrical usage within your tiny trailer. As we talked about previously, most of the time you'll be relying on your battery capacity, but sometimes you'll be able to plug in to shore power and be able to get all the electricity that you need. Well, for those times that you're on battery power, you're going to need to control how much electricity you use. In order to use the energy efficiently in my batteries, I need to make sure I don't overuse the 110 volt appliances. One way to do that is to get one of these kilowatt meters. This is a model 4460 kilowatt meter. These run around $25 to $30. And one of the things that they do is to tell you how much electricity you're using. Right now I've been using mine to get an idea how much some of my appliances will use. For example, the other day I had this plugged into my electric blanket overnight to see how much electricity it would use. Uh, the electricity was 300 watts for the night. Not bad, but when you figure out that you only have a certain capacity in your batteries, you won't be able to use electric blanket very often. In electricity, the simple equation Watts equals volts times amps. Now, what does this mean? Well, for example, if you look on your appliance, it may say that it's rated at 1500 watts and 110 volt, and it may even give you the amps that the system uses. Why is it important to know how many amps that we're using on these? Well, for example, if you have, take the example of the electric blanket, 900 watts out of a 110 volt system, that we're approximately 80 to 90 amps of energy. What would that mean on my 12 volt system? It means one night would, would run down battery, one battery halfway. So, that's a lot of energy to use that you're going to have to replace at a later time either by plugging in or turning on a generator or something. Plugging into your solar panel. Any way that you're going to do it, that's a lot of energy to have to repeat. Now, it gets to be even more critical when you're on a 12 volt system because 12 volt in our equation here, watts equals volts times amps. Our watts will not change for our appliance, but our voltage is changed to a 12 volt system and the amps will change again as well so that the equation of the batteries is important because that's going to mean how much electricity you have available. The kilowatt meter is helpful because it will allow you to estimate how much electricity you are going to use. So let's see a live demonstration of the kilowatt in action. The kilowatt meter is designed for finding energy usage in your house. You can also use it to estimate what it's going to be in your trailer. Why? Because you'll know how much you can run things before you'll end up. We're going to do a large demonstration on this. I'm going to reset the kilowatt meter and we're going to go over here to our kilowatt usage. Now, this is just a sample teapot that many people have at home that you can plug in and turn on to boil hot water for your tea. So we're going to have a demonstration here as to how much time and how much energy this uses. And then after that, we'll, use, we'll show the results and use the calculations to figure out how much it will use from our battery. So, as we wait for the water to boil, as we can see as the water is beginning to heat up, so far we've used 40 watts of electricity to heat up. We'll keep watching this and see how much we use total by the time this is done. Okay, the water is almost ready and rather than sitting here watching water boil, which is really fun, edited that part out and we can see the water is almost ready to boil and so far we're at 170 watts. The water is just beginning to boil and the appliance is about to shut off. And there we go. And while we're at it, 
we might as well make a nice cup of tea. So, the kilowatt meter recorded how much electricity we used. And in this case, 180 watts. And if we go through the menu here, we see it took 11 minutes to boil from room temperature. Okay, so our test on our kilowatt meter is done for the teapot and we saw that it took 11 minutes to boil and it used 180 watts. What does that mean? It means that from our battery we would use, based on our formula here, watts equals volts times amps, we would use approximately 15 amps worth of energy for the teapot. Now, that's not too bad. That would be 15 amps out of the 100 in our single battery capacity. So that would be 15%. Again, not a lot, but if you use your teapot several times a day, you're going to use it. So the kilowatt meter will not only be good for finding those energy vampires in your house, but also give you an estimate as to how much energy you're going to be using in your tiny trailer house. Hopefully you found this interesting and you'll be looking forward to more videos in the future. Until then, bye.